friends, and welcome to Zopa Stories. Have you ever experienced a vision before? And if so, I would love to hear about it in the comment section below. I recently had my first one not too long ago. It left a permanent mark on my soul, leaving me with a sense of confusion and yearning to uncover its meaning. Looking back, I find myself thinking deeply about the details of that vision, wishing that I had understood it at the time. But before we start, if you enjoy my stories, don't forget to like, share, and press that subscribe button for more content. So it all started back in December of 2020. Nothing could have ever prepared me for this at all. While I was comfortably lying on my couch that evening, I recall feeling a weird sensation, and I started to shiver uncontrollably. The next thing I knew, my eyesight began to blur, and a bizarre, unsettling version of reality unfolded before me. A crystal clear image emerged, and I found myself looking at a surreal landscape. A massive, rocky, floating mountain in the sky. From a distance, I see a tall, slender woman with her back turned towards me. She was standing all alone. Looking closer, it seemed like there was no other life around her, not a single tree, plant, or bird occupying this picturesque scene. As I focus my attention, my eyes are fixated on this mysterious woman before me, carefully observing her as she stands still. I found myself soaring pretty high above her. I kept circling around her, but as she remained facing down, I was unable to identify who she was. For some reason, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I knew her. It's like I've met her before, but at the same time, I couldn't put my finger on it. A surge of emotion coursed through me, crashing into my soul like an overwhelming tidal wave. The weight of sadness and confusion hit me with such force that it felt unbearable. Tears flowed freely down my face as if they were a mere reflection of the anguish within my heart. It was a pain so deep, aching as if I had lost someone dear to me. In that moment, my mind was a whirlwind of chaos, desperately trying to grasp the reality of what was happening before me. The situation seemed utterly bewildering and I found myself struggling to make sense of it all. Every fiber of my being was entangled in a relentless turmoil, as if I was caught in a tempest of emotion beyond my control. The intensity of the moment was simply too much to bear. It was as though my soul understood everything, but I just couldn't grasp any of it. My eyes remained locked on her as she slowly lifted her head, and for a moment our eyes met. It was only then that I realized the true identity of the mystery person I'd been looking at. I couldn't understand why I am looking at a young and beautiful version of my mother. Her skin was so smooth like porcelain and she was glowing. I froze as I stared at her and I felt my heart pounding with a mix of bewilderment and disbelief. She was dressed in a traditional black Hmong outfit that covered every inch of her body. No part of her skin was exposed besides her face, not even her neck, hands, or feet. Her facial expression conveyed a deep sense of sadness mixed with a desire to communicate with me. Suddenly, my eyes were drawn to her bright pink Hmong princess hat, which stood out boldly in the vision, and I fixated on it for a moment. My heart was heavy with longing as I reached out to touch her, and my vision zoomed in on my mother's face, but then the vision came to an abrupt end. After feeling stunned by my experience, I attempted to convince myself that it was simply a hallucination. Though I longed to share my vision with my mother, I didn't want to cause her any distress, so I kept it to myself. However, the unsettling vision consumed my thoughts, making it challenging to focus on my daily task. The image was deeply ingrained in my mind, and I couldn't shake it off. 
Seeking reassurance, I turned to my brother, who is a Hmong shaman, hoping he could help me make sense of my vision. I explained my concern and fear, desperate for guidance. Despite his promise to help, two weeks passed without hearing back, leaving me anxiously waiting for any news he could offer. I had an undeniable urge to pay my mother a visit, and therefore we all decided to plan and celebrate New Year's Eve at my parents' house. However, during the drive to their house, my body began to send signals that something was not quite right. Specifically, my left arm felt heavy and weak, which was new and confusing for me. I tried to ignore it, thinking that maybe it was just the weather. As I got closer to my parents' house, my fear began to grow. I couldn't shake the feeling that something serious was happening to me. Images of heart attacks and strokes flooded my mind. I tried to push the thoughts away, but they kept creeping back in. I didn't want to ruin the holiday by worrying everyone. I also didn't want to be a burden. I tried to hide my symptoms, but they weren't getting any better. My left arm began to tingle, and I was starting to feel lightheaded, so I took a seat on the couch. As soon as I saw my mother walking towards me, all those feelings of longing came crashing down upon me again, and my left arm began to feel heavier. It felt so heavy as if there was like an invisible force dragging it down. Additionally, I couldn't help but notice that my mother seemed off. Instead of her usual energetic and opinionated self, she appeared quiet and reserved. The behavior was not typical of her and caused me to feel concerned. In adding on top to all these weird sensations and symptoms that I've been having, my mother brought up a conversation that was very unexpected. She wanted all my sisters and I to take home all of our monk clothes that she's been holding on to. She even stated that she had organized all of the monk clothes and she had labeled which outfit belongs to which sisters. This request of her was really odd to me. And as soon as she finished the conversation, my mother abruptly announced that she was too exhausted and needed to call it a night. This sudden shift in behavior only added to my concerns, but once again, I brushed it off and tried not to overthink the situation. My brother was also present in the house, so I asked him for an update on what we had previously discussed. Unfortunately, he hadn't had the chance to look into it yet, leaving me feeling even more frustrated and unsure of what was happening. It was clear that something wasn't right, but I still couldn't quite put my finger on it. As I left my mother's house the following morning, a weight fell heavily upon my heart. The realization that I missed her and our time together dawned on me. She bid me farewell and wished me safe travels, reminding me to call her once I arrived home. Despite all the strange feelings and symptoms I had been experiencing, I still couldn't understand what was happening. I brushed off my concerns and tried to carry on as usual. As the days passed, a phone call from my brother shook me to the core. Our mother had fallen ill and was rushed to the emergency room. With strict COVID restrictions in place, we were unable to visit her. But we tried our best to provide comfort through calls and video chats. Hearing her voice and assurance that the doctors were taking good care of her helped relieve my anxieties. She remained optimistic assuring us of her return home soon. However, her health only deteriorated with time, and it became harder to communicate with her. Despite our hopes, my mother passed away just two weeks after that life-changing phone call. It was a loss that left me mourning deeply, and I am still rattled by the eerie connection between my vision and my mother's illness. The memory of the vision still haunts me as I try to make sense of what I have seen. The black Hmong outfit and the pink princess hat remains etched in my memory 
and I couldn't shake the feeling that the vision had been more than just a simple coincidence. To this day, I really wish that I understood the whole vision that I had with all the symptoms and all the feelings that came with it, that I was being shown that my mother was going to pass, but I didn't understand it at the time. It is even possible that maybe my mother was saying her goodbye to me spiritually because she couldn't or she wouldn't be able to physically at her time of passing. I'm sure that all visions mean something. And if you can understand it at the time when it happened, that maybe you may do something that is a little different so you wouldn't be living a life with regrets after having such vision like mine. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to my story. If you want to hear more, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.